All right, g'day, hi, and welcome. Okay, so you guys know about my issue with the otters, what they did to me yesterday. They didn't even go near my traps, buggers. So I open up the two spillways, and we see the two otter tracks there, one big, one small. And here's my normal trail in, and I want to show you something. Okay, so I got my pail and my 280 there. And I got a tree there. I'm going to tie off on that one. I should have enough cable, hopefully. But look here. I didn't catch this on the way in. See that? See that little track there? Right there. You can see it really good. Right there. And I know who made that track. Nice little burrow right in there. That'd be a perfect spot to set a trap right there. Uh, and that is uh, basically a minky bugger face. So minky bugger. I got at least one mink. Two otters here. So far, no, and possibly one beaver for sure who put that tree in the middle of the, that, that, I still don't know why he did that. What was he thinking? I am going to journey to the other side of the dam. I won't get that trap out today. It's like not even one o'clock and it's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like the days just go by so quickly. But this is what happens when you get, you know, this all should have been done way ahead of time. And I'm going to have to go get some more pails and stuff like that. But that 280 takes up that pail just nice. I want to plant it maybe somewhere around here, but I want a, a solid backstop to it. So you can see there's a track there. Something bigger went there. That's probably a rabbit. So we got rabbits, we got minks, we got everything. I don't really care about catching rabbit. I mean, I'll eat them if I catch them, but uh, they're not really, there, there's no value to them uh, that way. But I mainly after the otters and after the beaver, that's the number one target is the, the beavers, but it seems like there's, the beavers aren't cooperating. I think the beavers are up ahead, so I will be moving my operation up ahead fairly soon. Uh, it's been about four days or five days since I last caught a fur, so, you know, again, I don't have a lot of traps out, but, uh, you know, my success rate is not bad for considering the amount of traps, but also the, the weather has changed again in my favor. Um, but the, uh, yeah, so nice thing about the snow is I could tell where my minks are and there's a mink that's going to be coming by here and he'll be by here again probably just after i leave so you can see about a week ago when it snowed nothing was walking around here at all nothing why my smell was scaring them but now my smell's here every day you, before you know it, this is just gonna be plastered with tracks and before you know it all of a sudden one day you're gonna have like you're gonna literally have animals following you in broad daylight going oh it's just him again you know you're, you're going to see mink running across the ice you're going to be uh it's not going to be like uh lauren green's wild kingdom but you you are going to see that stuff so i'm going to get a trap in i want it facing there because i want the stuff crossing to see it but i want to make sure it's got a good backstop and then i'm going to tie off on there i've already got my turkey bait in there and uh yeah so i'm gonna get to it and i'll show you when i'm done I, maybe i should maybe take it over to that there but uh, i'll see where i'm gonna put it but there uh, clearly there's a mink everything runs all around the dam anyway so uh, if you want fur trap the trap the dam uh that's it's the best it's it's like a highway it's like a highway so everything's using this raccoons fox beaver otter uh muskrats wolves coyotes everything's going to get deer <laughs> you know everything uses that now mind you as the snow comes out everything just runs across the top of the ice the otters and the beaver they and the muskrats don't care if they fall through the ice because they can swim and they know how to get air underneath this is probably something you might not know but all the little air bubbles underneath the um ice they can swim around for hours without coming up they just go like that and they'll see an air pocket they'll flip upside down suck it up uh, make a seal with their nostrils suck up the the air f keep going and, and they can do that all day it's, it's, it's amazing what they can do uh but anyway yeah so i'm gonna hopefully catch either that mink or the, another otter here so there we go i'm gonna get that set up 